Hello, good afternoon and welcome to PGTV. Today we're fishing the beautiful Hampshire Raven in search of the Atlantic salmon and today we're adopting a slightly different technique as it's the beginning of the prawning season. We are long trotting for Atlantic salmon with prawn and the prawns that I'm using are from a company called Purple Whiskers who are second to none. Speak to Dee, he's available on the uh, Purple Whiskers website. You can get his number there as well. This is the quality of the prawn that he supplied me. And you can see this is a, a red prawn. They come in about seven or eight different colors, black, natural, yellows, purple, uh, red, orange, you name it, they dye it. Um, the ones I particularly like are the red ones. Can you see the size of the whiskers, how nice they are? Beautiful. Now we're fishing the classic Idley Bridge pool and uh, we're gonna be long trotting using a 15 foot fly rod. And what I've done is I've adapted it to take a center pin. I've invested in a Sheffield um, center pin is 170 quid's worth, but it's well worth the investment. Um, it doesn't have any protective rail on it, so the line will come off if you don't know how to handle them. But uh, with practice, you can get it. And uh, we're going to long trot using a five swan um, uh, Avon uh, float, and I'll show you what I've got. I'll show you the rig. So, what we've got there is we've got a chubber float Avon, they're about one pound 30 for the float. I put two bands on there and the reason I haven't threaded it through the hole is so that I can take the float off and I can do free lining the shrimp in some of the shallower pools <clears throat> and I can also just shot it off as well and fish the shot and I'll show you that technique later on. Um, the reason I'm using the 15 foot fly rod is number one it gives you the sensation of catching a fish on the fly so you get good leverage, good power, it's a double handed rod. Um, I'm using the Guideline GLXE, which had a few fish this year for me, six on the fly this year, uh, up to about 27 pounds. And then I've put to that 19 pounds of Fox, um, I think it's called Fox um, Invisibility. So it's invisible in the water, it's sli slightly green. There's a bit of a green brown tint to the river at the moment. We've had some rain, which is encouraging the salmon up. And it's good to be out, it's overcast conditions. We're on uh, June the uh, 16th, which is the opening of the salmon season for prawning and shrimping using bait. And uh, let's see how we get on. Uh, that's the technique we're adopting, ladies and gentlemen. And I've also got here the shot pattern. So I put the float set about 10 feet off um, the hooks and I can slide the rubbers up and down to adapt it down to 15 foot or as low as six or four feet even, depending on the depth of the pool. The Ibley Bridge pool has a 11 foot hole so with the current you need to get down 15 feet on the line so it just swings around beautifully and just bumps the bottom. They lie underneath the bridge, behind the bridge, behind the bus stop, all the way through here, all the way down. And they do show themselves from time to time. They lie under the bridge, in front of the bridge, and they lie at the tail of the bridge, right at the tail. And uh, they even lie above the weir. The sluice gates or the hatches are above on that corner and that's where the salmon can lie up there as well. So um, this is a great holding pool, great for shrimping. We're going to give it a go, but I'm just going to talk you through how to thread the, um, the baiting needle. I've got a baiting needle on the end here and I'll show you that. Um, just bear with me. So we've got four shots panned out. Two, one, one, foot apart. Then two feet of leader. I'm using 15 pound um, Drennan, double strength uh, taper leader and it's super supple but it's also super strong so that i've placed a baiting needle a one inch baiting needle and you thread that up the line first with the point pointing towards the hook like so i put on about one inch one and a half inches of red elastic with a loop on the end so i'm going to wrap that around the prawn when it's mounted so we'll put the shrimping needle up the prawn's backside straighten the prawn and go straight through the body don't break the shell if you can avoid it then I'm using a size 8 treble, barbless treble, and that will go in the throat of the shrimp or prawn, and then we'll wrap the elastic round. I'll show you how it's done. Now, it's very important to keep your shrimp in a cool bag. While we're at it, I'll show you my beautiful centre pin. There she is, look at that, isn't that lovely? So it's got a ratchet on that side. It's a Sheffield, made by Kuma, and that's a Series 1002. It cost me 170 quid from Ringwood Tackle. Uh, in Ringwood Town Centre. Speak to Richard, he'll put you on those and uh, give you the best one. There's no guard on it because I like to use my hand as a brake. And with the guard, you have to use your thumb. And if you get a big 30 pound salmon, 
your thumb will get absolutely worn to heck. So the key is to keep your thumb either on the top as you're playing or put your hand underneath the drum and hold the fish that way. But it has got a drag and I'll show you how that slides off later. But let's show you how to mount the, the shrimp or prawn. This is a little prawn. It's a medium size and I've taken the, the, the tail off a little bit. See the tail come off? And the reason for that is it stops it from spinning and it makes it swim beautifully. Now if we take the pin, put the pin through the tail, through its anal hole, like so, and then straighten the prawn and go into the body straight as you can. The straighter the better, so I open it up, press it through, ease it through nice and gently, nice and straight, make sure it's nice and straight. You can see it going through now. Don't break the shell, you can avoid it push it all the way in and that's gone in lovely first time and then that's the presentation and then you take the treble hook and you effectively what you want to do here is line up the hooks so they're central so that's that way put the prawn on it on its tummy take the first prong into its throat hook it in dead center Pull the line back so that the hooks are sitting nice and straight. Then you can see they act as legs. And then you take the elastic and you wrap it around the tail twice, around the body, loosely, so that if you get a hit, it doesn't stay on, it collapses, and then the hooks penetrate better. If you over tighten the elastic, I've seen the prawn take the hooks out from the fish. So loosely done, but now you can see how beautiful that is. And I'll show you how it works in the water. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen, isn't that just swimming beautifully? Can you see how that's swimming nicely? I think it's swimming beautifully and I'll do an underwater shot for you later. And there it goes, so. And obviously with the shrimp and prawn, there's a little bit of a jerky action to it, like that. That's wonderful. So, let's um, start the first trot going to stay in the inside lane. I'm feeding out line. I left it on the ratchet. I'm just feeding line when I want to feed. Then I'm just going to twig it back and then the prawn comes up and that's what the salmon hits. So really slowly through the pool, giving the salmon a chance to pick up the scent. These fish are so, these shrimp and prawn are so fresh that whoever's in a 30 foot radius of that prawn will pick up the scent trail. So you haven't got to be perfectly accurate but let the salmon think about it, drag it back and work it back like a fly. Just feeding it out, the current's taking it. That's the beautiful thing about the floating, long trotting for fish, is that you're not walking down the bank, you're just letting the float trot down slowly, you can control it on the right flow. And we're coming up to one of the taking spots now. And then we just let that go down in search of these salmon. You can see it lovely, it's working beautifully. And I'm going quite shallow, I'm probably fishing no more than about seven feet there. But let's say I'll go down to 15, but we'll do the first one shallow and the inside lane. We'll work out on three lanes, middle and end lane. And we'll go down from six feet, even four feet sometimes, all the way down to 15 in one or two foot intervals. So we're searching the water from long range. This can go probably up to 100 yards. Use a big orange float so you can see your float and that's just working around beautifully. So that's the technique. And you work it all the way down and then you'd slowly tweak it back like a fly. And just bring it back. Now the other advantage of having a 15 foot fly rod, besides the five, is I can actually point it halfway across the river. I can um, also adjust the float up to 15 feet without the hooks getting on the bank, which means that I can cast better and I can set the float to high depth without having to worry too much about snags and the bottom. When you're playing a fish, you can play it away from these snags on the inside bend. So there's another advantage. So there's lots of advantages to having it. Some guys, what they do is they um, set the mounting back and they readjust an old fly rod and stick it there so it's balanced, but I'm happy to just leave it as it is. And I'll show you how smooth this center pin works. So let's just bring it up to about 
So let's bring it up to about there. Take the ratchet off and just watch how easy this goes. This will take one dust shot. Now look, give it some line. Now look at the reel, ladies and gentlemen. Just look at that. So it's going off by itself, which is beautiful. And I'm just trying to show you how easy this is. You can put your thumb on there, control it. Let it go. And now, smooth as anything, smooth as anything. Can you see that? I'll just show you the camera. So smooth, it is absolutely silky smooth. I highly recommend a decent investment on the reel. And look, absolutely gorgeous. So enjoyable fishing. Stop, flick it back. Just working it back now, holding that position. And that's the beautiful thing about long trotting. It's a coarse fishing tactic adapted for the salmon anglers. It gives you stealth, it gives you control, it gives you maneuverability, good casting as well, because it's not easy to cast with a centre pin, but with a long rod like this, it's a bit easier. And that's the taking spot there, another taking spot just coming up to it, working it through slowly, and that's lovely. Just waiting for the float to disappear. And there it goes. Fish on, fish on, ladies and gentlemen, fish on. Salmon on, ladies and gentlemen, salmon on. Salmon on, we have got a salmon on. It's gone right up here, right up. We've got salmon on. Oh, he's going, he's going. Oh, he's taking me right up. Oh, he's pushed me right up the pool here. I'm just gonna have to be careful with it. Oh. Gonna have to try and play him this way, but he's taking me right up. Oh, look at this, right under the bridge. And he's really stripping. He's taking the red shrimp. We're shrimping, beginning of the shrimping season. I'm gonna follow him up. I've got my chest waders on, thank goodness. Now so we're gonna follow him up. But he's really, really stripping. Oh my goodness, mate, he's going up. He is going up. Oh, so we can follow him up. Oh my goodness me, this is a big fish, big salmon ladies and gentlemen, big salmon, oh, he's gone right up there, he's taken me right under the bridge, unbelievable, unbelievable, oh, oh my goodness me, oh, just got to keep walking up, oh, oh my goodness me, he's taking me straight up there, straight up. Oh no, oh no, he's taking line. Oh my goodness me, I'm just fighting it from here. I'm gonna have to just play him back in a second. Oh, oh, such a powerful fish. Such a powerful fish. Oh, oh, still going, it's still going. Oh, I've never seen a fish quite like this take me this far up but this is taking me miles up on the center pin. Now we're gonna try and bring him back. Yeah, he's coming back. He's coming back the whole way, which is great. Oh, he still wants to go. Oh, look, there he comes, he's up. He's up. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's coming back towards us. Still all this centre pins. It's a new centre pin I bought, but it's it's got to be. Oh, just got to get the line back on. It's still on. I still got him. He's back on now. Ow. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna try and play him. So. Oh, let's try and play him up. Play him back our way. He's coming back our way, which is good. Just gotta keep playing him. Oh, I hope you're getting these images, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're getting these images, but I've never had a salmon do this to me. And this is just incredible. Uh, he slammed it, I had a hook earlier. He's coming, it's a big fish. Uh, we've gotta be careful he doesn't go down the other tunnel. Otherwise we're in big trouble. I've just gotta play him back this way. He's coming this way. That's good. Let him come this way, let him come this way. Let's play him out. Let's play him out. Oh. Now, keep him away from that side. He's going over the other side. So we just gotta hold him up this way. 
keep planning this way. Keep coming this way, this way, this way, this way. Just gotta take him this way if I can. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, he's back under our feet again, which is great. Back under our feet. Oh, it's just right underneath our nose here. Here he is, salmon on. Oh, it's a big one. It's playing really well. Now we can walk him back. I've never had a fight like this. This is just unbelievable under the bridge, under the bridge pool. Oh, so we're just gonna walk him back, get the net. He's well and truly hooked. I'm fishing 15 pound bottom. He's a good fish. But oh my goodness me, the opening shrimp season. And this is the first fish for me, fish number 15, if we can land him. Here he is. Oh, he's a beauty. It's a beautiful fish. It's a beautiful fish. He's burrowing down. He's burrowing down. Just got to keep him head up, head up, head up. Oh, here he is. All right, let's get the net. Oh, he's going again. Oh, he's going again. Oh, he's going in the depth. He's going up again. Oh, just got to hold him back. Let's get the drag on. Now we've got the drag on. That's better. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, beautiful fish, beautiful fish. Oh, oh. And I'm playing with my 15 foot fly rod here, but this is such a powerful fish. There he is, look at the bar on him. He's a beauty. He's absolutely beautiful. Let's try and get his head up. Let's get his head up. Let's get under the weed. Oh, I think he has gone under the weed, which is not good. But there he is, there he is. Oh, yeah, I've got him out of the weed now. There he is, there's the fish. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. What a beautiful fish. Fresh bar. There he is. There he is. Let's just bring him towards us. There he is, look at that. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes. Just got to hold on to him. He's on the main float, but oh. Need the net. Get the net up. Let's get the net. There he goes. Oh, oh, let's follow him down. There he comes. There he comes. Beautiful salmon. Absolute beauty. Beautiful fish. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, I can see the shrimp just hanging out of his mouth. There we go. There we go. Here he comes. Here we go. Oh, he's fighting. Oh, he's fighting well. Oh, let's get him in the net. Oh, he doesn't want to go. Oh, never seen a salmon take me up so far. But this is fish number 15. We can just get him in the net. He's almost ours. He is almost ours. Oh, in you go. In you go. He is ours. Fish number 15. Oh, what a bar, what a bar, absolutely delighted on my new rig, oh, Kennett Centre pin, that was hair raising, hair raising experience, but we've got a fish and it's fresh, let's walk him up, oh, there we go, beautiful, beautiful, oh, there is the fish. Wonderful news. Wonderful. My phone is completely drenched. Oh, that was deeper than I thought there. Let's get rid of the water. Just to, my phone is waterproof. I'm just hoping it survives this. Oh. Oh. Oh no, I've got dead phone. My phone's dead. Oh. Just too much water on it. Oh, not good. Oh. Oh, first fish of the day. Oh. Just let him recover there. Uh, I shouldn't have just waded up there. I've got water into my pouch, water into my phone, dead phone. That'll have to be dried out. 
that he nailed that shrimp. Oh. So fish number 15 on the shrimp, first one on the shrimp for me. And we'll just uh, rest him up. There he is, there he is, oh yes. Beautiful fish, fish of about 12. 12 pound, but it's a fresh Atlantic salmon, ladies and gentlemen. Fresh Atlantic salmon. Let's just see where we've hooked him. Oh. All right, hooks have come out of the net, which is great. Yep, they've come out of the net, beautiful. Size eights. Oh, absolutely delighted. Oh. Beautiful silver bar, fresh fish. Won't get much fresher than that. Very strong fighting fish. It took me straight up there. Straight up, and that was the prawn that did the damage. Oh. Silver bar. Absolute beauty. And it's sea lice, look, sea lice. It's only been up a day. You see the two sea lice on its side? There's the sea lice, that's, that's a very fresh fish. And I wonder it fought well. That's been up in one day. That is excellent news. Really good news. Except from the phone that's got damaged, I can't ring anyone. But we'll have to just take a picture with the video camera. But that is, you won't get fresher than that. That is a fresh 12 pound bar. Hood. Get it upstream. There it is, beautiful. Sea lice, look at the sea lice on it. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. 12 pound silver bar, first fish on the shrimp today, 16th of June. Fish number 15, we'll show you the fish. The sea lice has just come up. Just put them up here. There. Lost one earlier, didn't quite hook it. It just shot up so fast, I couldn't keep in touch with it. This fish wants to go. So we'll get a picture with the camera and then we'll return him. A lovely 12 pound silver bar though, beautiful fish. All right, here's this lovely silver bar. We'll show you how beautiful this is, 12 pounds. See the sea lice on there? Look at the sea lice, still on there. Sea lice, sea lice. So this is fresh, come up today. And we're just gonna put them on the flow. There we go. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. Just look at that. Isn't that a beautiful fish? So, 12 pounds, silver bar, absolutely beautiful. Now we're going to return it back. There he is. Just put him on the flow there. Beautiful. He wants to go. He wants to go. I'm delighted. I'm fishing the classic Ibley Bridge pool and let's hope there's a few more to come yet.